Charleston has the fourth highest number of homelessness in the state and the second highest number of homeless veterans. Helping to get people back on their feet is Denise Tolbert, CEO and Executive Director for the Village of South Carolina Homeless Shelter and Services, a grassroots effort to build a homeless shelter here in the Low Country. Thanks so much for joining us, Denise. Congratulations and thank you for doing such a wonderful thing for our community. Why did you decide that opening a homeless shelter was something that you wanted to pour your effort into? Well, thank you for having me. And I decided to do that once I saw that there was a need that wasn't obvious. I started a coat drive and during the time of looking for recipients for the coat drive, that's when I discovered that there were more homeless that I could actually see. And I think there's over 300 homeless, even though it's it's difficult to count exactly how many people are homeless in the low country, in the tri-county area. But, uh, you know, you, you see them, you pass them on the street, you see them on the street corner, and there are a few places for them to actually go. So what do you plan on on using this this grassroots effort, the village of South Carolina? How do you plan on getting them off the street and then into a better lifestyle? So the plan is to build this shelter is 50,000 square feet, which is about the size of a professional football field. It'll be able to house up to 500 people. So that's the plan. Now, right now, uh, we're in the works of finding the exact location. I have volunteers that are willing to do the labor for free. I have different you know, avenues to go about uh, getting different fundings for different things, including the veterans area, which is going to cost the most. So we're really pushing to get it open by the end of March to try to beat the summer heat so that they don't have to weather that storm. What, what do you hear from people who've been living out on the street? Now, you often say, you know, it's of no, they're not their fault that they're on the street in many cases. So what are some of the stories that you've heard? Well, one in particular that comes to mind is when I was giving out the coats, there was a guy that came in there and as I was helping him find his size, um, he thanked me for doing what I was doing. And I just let him know I'm only doing what I can. And I could notice his face was starting to shake. He was about to get emotional. And so he started to speak and he let me know that he had a job that was paying him more than 20000 a month. And at that point, when COVID came and he had to be laid off, he is living in his Mercedes right now. Making $20,000 a month to nothing. He's living in his Mercedes and he doesn't know, know what to do. And it's just a situation where a lot of people are going through right now. And have you ever experienced any level of homelessness yourself? I have, but not to the point where I had to be on the streets. You know, there's different phases of homelessness. There's three different kinds. You know, there's the kind where you're sleeping on someone's couch. There's the kind when you're on the street in abandoned buildings. You know, so there's different kinds, but never to the extreme of what we see going on in our city. Yes. And services are a little difficult to come by. I want to talk more about that uh, when we come back after the commercial. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Welcome back. We're here with Denise Tolbert. She's CEO and Executive Director for the Village of South Carolina Homeless Shelter and Services. This is a brand new shelter that you're still looking for a location to establish, but it's going to be big. It's going to have over 100 beds. Uh, what are some of the services, besides giving someone a roof over their head, what are some of the services that you hope to provide? Well, when they first come in, the first thing we establish is a personal development plan. So we find out where they are and where they want to go. We see the skills that they possess, so we assist in finding employment. Also, we offer different things like life skills classes and credit you know, repair and, and things like that, just to kind of help them out and whatever it is that they're working on to help them move forward. Absolutely. Uh, so these services and, and donations, I imagine that you need some donations. Definitely need donations. At this time on my website, we are accepting donations for different things. Um, I want to definitely build and design with dignity in mind, because even though these people are homeless, they deserve dignity. So versus opening up a shelter where it's just wide open with cots on the floor, I don't want to do that. I definitely want to provide like, you know, walls in between areas and give them some sort of privacy so that they could focus on getting rest at night so they can be prepared for the next day. That's a wonderful 
That's a wonderful thing to say. I think that when people think of a homeless shelter, they do think of these open wide spaces where everybody's mixed together, that you don't have any privacy. It's very difficult to kind of get your self in a mindset where you wake up the next morning and you're ready to take on the day and make a change. So we really, we, we applaud you for those efforts. Uh, you also have some positions open for people who can help further your mission. So what are some of the open positions that you'd like to fill right now? The main one I would really like to fill right now would definitely be fundraiser coordinators. I have a really strong fundraising campaign plan, but I definitely need help with that. Okay, and just marketing in general and board of directors, I would imagine. So lots of different positions and people will direct them to your website. But I want to thank you so much, Denise, for sharing your story with us and, and this wonderful mission and cause. Thank you. And it's just important that people understand that, you know, if we come together, we can accomplish things and every little bit of help, it does matter. Amen. Thank you so much. We're back after this. Thank you.